Welcome back, awesome Action Toy fans and subscribers. Yes, it is Joy Toy Warhammer 40k time again. You can see I've had my Ultramarines Blade Guard Erections come in. I've removed the Celestine, but I've not taken them out of the box yet, so I will do that in a little while. Looks really nice in the picture, I've got to say. Looks good there. We'll go to the back. See, there's two alternative heads. Some seals, his backpack, here's a shield, the handle, blah, 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 etc. Now, I've got here the, uh, the, what's it called? The Primaris Space Marines Black Templar version. His box is not only shorter, it's also considerably more shallow, not as deep. If I just quickly stick it on top, you get the idea. So you're looking at probably one and a half centimeters more shallow but it doesn't appear to be a huge amount of difference in terms of how much comes in there more hands on this one Put that back up you can see that more hands on uh, the ultramarines version you've got the obviously they've got the two spare heads um and one extra gun as well it looks like but otherwise it looks pretty much similar what comes in there uh the handle on this one here you see here is actually on the shield there that's quite sort of at that angle Okay, so I am going to unbox the uh, Ultramarines version here, set him up, and take a look, and we can compare him to the uh, the Black Templars version in a little while later too. Now, if you like this sort of content, please consider joining the Patreon link in the top right of your screen now, and you can see this sort of stuff early and other exclusive stuff too. Okay, let me get into this. So, back in instant for you guys. Okay, here he is in a nice running pose on the ball of his foot on the back foot. He does look really quite cool. He might be a blade guard, but I've left his blade stowed in his scabbard. See him running from the uh, other side. That does look really nice. Now, this is a body 2.0 from the 40k line. I believe the Black Templar, one who's in my hand here, is a body 1. So I'll be interested to see how many differences and what differences there are. Okay, let's get a closer look at this rather big boy here. Okay, so first things as accessories, he comes with the uh, helmeted head you can see there, which looks pretty cool. Comes with this unhelmeted head here, which is pretty nice details. Again, they're doing a great job in these eyes, has to be said. And he comes with this uh, other helmeted head here. Really showing that he loves the Ultramarines there. Um, which again is a pretty cool one. I'm not sure which one looks... Maybe I'd keep this helmeted head here. Or maybe the unhelmeted head. But what's nice now. If you actually look at these size. You can see that this unhelmeted head here is actually smaller. So it, it, it would almost look like that, that helmet would fit over his head. With some of the early releases. The heads were almost the same size. So a helmet wouldn't really fit over there. This gives that um, impression that it would. Uh, so he comes with this gun here. Pretty nice. He comes with a holster with a gun holstered. He comes with a holster with a gun unholstered. And he comes with this little seal here, which you can attach if you take the sword or something else off. Comes with this other gun here. You can't take the clip out of that one. These things on his belt, you can take off the purity seals and whatnot. Nice looking shield, which has got some simple colouring on the back. This rather ridiculously big, but pretty cool sword. Okay, let's get a closer look at him. I think this is maybe my favourite head, this one. It looks pretty good. Or favourite of his heads, I should say. Nice work on the forearm there. It's pretty nice. So he has got the... Okay, I'm telling a lie here. He, he's got the uh, shoulder 1.0 
shoulder joints as well. Not the uh, version 2. He's a great looking figure. Very nice indeed. Now this is the same as the previous ones they did for the Ultramarines, but this one comes with the different heads. So this is the actual difference really is the heads here. That's why it's body one on the uh, shoulders. I'll put a link to the original review in the top right. Um, I think these heads are pretty good, but I think the original one's still nice in my opinion, but Having said that, looking closely at this one now, it looks like it could be even better still. He's not a very happy look at that glum, sad face. But it's a great head sculpt, I have to say. So there shouldn't be any real major differences between him and the uh, Black Templar version next to me. You can see they look relatively similar. You know, in terms of the aesthetic. Obviously, it's the uh, small differences in colour and and iconography and the eagle on their chest but they are very very similar it's a nice looking figure i have to say um i won't go for articulation because i've done it previously on the on the original review but i will try to swap his head out let me quickly pause this change his head out and then set him up in a nice combat pose so back in an instant <laughs> he looks great pose of the uh with the orc i have to say looks really good with the um that knob Nazbog there, very, very cool. The Orc Commandos, again, by Joy to a link in the uh, top right of the screen. Not seen that review yet. Very, very cool. And the head does look fantastic on him. Really, really nice. And heads are just a pop off and pull. That was quite easy. That's a nice big hole in that one. So it's not going to be too hard to put on. And then the other one, we have a quick look. Again, is a suitably large hole. So it'll be very easy to just push and twist and hopefully it will go on he says hopefully he's not doing it now come on okay and now he's got the other head on and that looks really cool too and i managed to loosen his backpack by putting his head on a quick push on. and then what's that something else dropped off then one of the seals dropped off it's okay Very, very cool. A lovely looking figure. He's going to really look nice, particularly these new alternative heads on your shelf, posed with other Ultramarines and your other 40k figures. Very, very cool. Okay, awesome. That's always something out saying please like, share, subscribe. Check out the rest of my content on this uh, video here, on this video, on this channel. There's over a thousand videos, and I'll see you all in the next one. Stay happy, keep collecting. Bye bye.